Hello and welcome to uh, part 10 of the uh, Green Dragon project. Okay, today, tonight, or whenever you're watching this, we're going to work on the feet. So, let's get started. We're on mirror, so that's good. And let's make sure we're on the right layer. And, uh... We went through some layer merging last uh, episode, so I want to make sure we're in the right one. Okay, I want to move that leg uh, let's see, I think back a little bit and then rotate the foot before we start adding some uh, volume to it. So let's um, again use the uh, move tool which is starting to become pretty cool. Now that I'm somewhat getting used to how it operates. So that's not too bad. I like that. Let's go to the um, inflate. I'm going to inflate that knee just a little bit. So that he has a uh, a visual a visual need. You can you know you can see where the uh, legs have been. Run that out. And then right here we've got where then the back of the leg would bend. So that's looking good. And you know, later on we'll uh, add a little more detail, but right now just the uh, general shape. That's a little too bulbous right there. Uh, I kind of, I kind of lost it. I lost that knee. There we go. Smooth that. <clears throat> okay, now the foot, the foot, the foot, the foot. Um, you look here. Very simplified foot. Three toes. Um, that's a very nice flow right there and um, let's see if we can duplicate that let's um, bring that out just a little bit more move it and he's got a good it's a nice round shape right there so that's good um, right here we need to kind of push it in it's too round right there we want to kind of come in a little bit right there so um let's go well we got the inflate so let's let's deflate we can push that in a little bit yeah good and probably what would help is if we uh flatten that out but maybe not let's um, reduce that down what I'm going to do is actually uh, inflate the bottom of the foot where you would see where You know where you, where you got the the padding, the ball of the uh, of your foot where the big toe would be, and then you got a heel that would kind of pop out a little bit. So let's get that going. A little too much. Let's bring it back just a little bit here. Pump it up a little bit. I know 
know that's too much, but uh, you know, let's spray it back. All right. Okay, got a little volume there. Now let's um, put in some toes real quick. Let's go to uh, the clay. Hit that and use this capsule. We'll reduce it down for as much as we can. Let's see. That's so he's got to have a bigger toe. Maybe not that big, but uh, kind of big. So one. Now let's reduce it down just a little bit and get to two. Yeah, that's uh, it's workable. And now down just a little bit more and to. Oh my goodness, let's see, what do we think, what do you think, um... I'm gonna work with that. Let's, um... No. Let's move some of that out on the top. And with the toes in place, now I have a little better understanding of where, you know, like the uh, ball joint would be. Let's uh, we can go back to our sphere and just put a little, little glob of clay right there. Move it out. A little more there and smooth it. And we need to smooth that out a little bit. Now I'm not for sure whether or not I want to put in, you know. You know, like toenails or claws or fingernails. We'll see, but and that's for another time. I just want to get. Now let's reduce this down. I'm, what I'm wanting to do is see the, the feet are kind of coming in like that. I'm going to bring them right there for now. And then. Um, go and then later when we pose him we can manipulate it a little bit further all right so with that said let's go back to um, inflate and let's hit the back side of the leg we lost a little bit of that volume but I like kind of come into that nice little skinny part of his ankle. Losing a little bit right there. Let's see if I can get under there and spray that back. Yeah, that's, that's looking better. Let me blow it up a little bit. Get in there. I want, let's see if we can get just a little bit more of that instep. 
kind of coming up a little bit here. It's not too bad. There we go. Yeah. That's good. Let's see. Just a little bit out right there. And let's see, we've got a little bit of strangeness happening right there. Let's uh, bring that out a tad smooth. And then, um, let's see, let's so push that back a little bit. There we go. How's that looking? Yeah. I'm going to say, yeah. Smooth that out. Okay, now let's uh, hit that heel a little bit. Flatten it. Now I know later we'll probably put in just a little bit more detail there, but, but you know, in reality, why, right? Uh, unless this foot is like actually bent and is exposed to the viewer. Other than that, if it's going to be on the ground, I'm not going to worry about it yet. So, um, yeah, for right now, that's the feet. It looks pretty good. It's a start. You know, might, you know, go in and readjust where the toes are, but, um... Again, a later time. Let's do a save. So, um, let's deal with that hand a little bit. I want to uh, bring this area out. Let, let's see if I can capture this area and this finger and pull it out a little bit. And then I can kind of add some volume to the forearm. So, uh, again. Go move tool. See what I can capture here. Let's bring this down and yeah. Don't know. Let's pull this up in there. And let's do it. undo. Huh. You know, because I would really love to. What I might try to do, let's do this. Let's do a cut. Cut this off. And let's play around with the repositioning aspect again. Alright. Let's see what that did. And probably what I should do is turn off all these other layers that I'm not working on. Kind of like when I rescaled the body and I had to join the, the head and the body and it would keep crashing. Let's see, okay, we got that done, so um, let's do that. That way it'll just avoid problems in the future here. So I've got this layer, let's see. Interesting, it's only going to do... Okay. Ah. So it's like I would have to join these two together. 
in order to work on it. But so, okay, so these last three layers, let's turn everything off. Okay, everything else is off. Whoopsie. Alright. So with that said, let's go back to layers. And uh, we've got that one. And we got that one. So let's uh, see if we can't merge those two. Okay, so they're merged. That might not have been the deal that I wanted to do. However, because I want to <laughs> I want to move it and I don't think I if I remember right, moving is really not mirrored actually. Yeah, see. So we just got to pick a side. Well, not really. What I'm going to do is, um, we've got that layer right, making sure. I'm just going to, uh, I don't want the cut tool. I want, I'm just going to go with play. And let's just, wait a minute. Yeah, we don't want that either. Let's, uh, we're going to, um, turn that off. Get rid of one of them. And now, we're going to, um, uh, I did want to move it. Um, yeah, that's a little bit like what I wanted. That's more in line with what I wanted. So, um, well, let's see if we can get rid of that little smudge there. Okay. Now the hand, the thumb will come up. This will come out and lead into that finger. A lot of volume there. So, um, all right, let's let's join that finger. I mean, flip it now over there, and then fill in, and we'll call this session finished. All right, so layer. We want to flip it. Oh. All right, seeing how it's already flipped on that side, and it, and it is there, we should duplicate it. Let's duplicate this layer. Oh my goodness. This is the layer I want. Come on. Select it. There we go, finally. Now, let's uh, duplicate. We've got that, so now let's uh, flip. And we better have two fingers over there. There's that one and that one, awesome. It's just what we wanted. Now, let's combine it to the rest of the body. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, make sure what layers I have are the ones I need. That's that. That. And that. Okay. So, let's select these three. Right there. And let's merge them.
Okay, I think it worked. Some weird seams things happening right here. It's a little bizarre. Don't know what that's all about. Now, what do we got? Yep, I did it. So let's get some clay and make sure we're on mirror. Double tap and let's fill in fill in the gap here. Alright. Smooth the back. And then, you know, what's really going to sell this as a hand is, you know, some of the fleshy parts of the palm and, you know, really, let's, uh, you know, got, should really extend this finger out and see how long the little pinky finger is in relationship to the index finger. And then we'll pull this one out again as well. So, before we go too much further, let's, um, Let's do that. Let's see how well we can stretch a finger. That's um, pretty cool. I like that. Now this thumb, I don't like it out like that so much it's like coming out like that it should be kind of pointing in a little bit like that and then uh, um let's see if i can get this the way i want more like that all right yeah and then um Let's get just a little bit more uh, volume right here. Yeah. Let's push some of that back. And then we'll get a little bit of a fleshy part here for the thumb. There we go. Nice. All right, that's a good start. So let's turn on the other layers. Ah, uh, wait a minute. This finger right here, just still irritating me. To push it in. Okay. Yeah. That's better. All right. Um, let's turn on those layers so that we can see everything. All right. Yes, sir. He's coming along. Look. And pretty good. All right, let's do a save. 
and um, we'll call this one a wrap. And then I think what we'll do is um, next session work on the tail, uh, get that in place. Uh, let's see, I think, you know, what I'm trying to figure out is do I do a static tail straight out or do I just break the symmetry at this point and do a, a nice swoopy tail? Might do it on another layer, just to practice and get something going. So that's, that's what we'll work on next episode. All right. Thanks again for watching. And until next time, y'all take care.